New Year holiday just days away. Many are planning quick nearby getaways, but the conditions may be dangerous. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields has a recap of our overnight snow and how to stay safe. So the roads here on Trans Mountain opened up to drivers just before 3 p.m. this afternoon after being closed for more than 12 hours. And families across the borderland enjoying the snow this morning after a night of snowfall. But now we're seeing the aftermath of that melting snow, which can affect the roads. When the streets get wet and slick and temperatures drop below freezing, you may come across black ice, which is dangerous to drivers. TxDOT has been out treating the roads to prevent that, but it also advises you to stay off the roads unless you absolutely need to. And earlier today, many El Paso families did stay off the roads and, and headed to the parks to play in the snow with their kids. And they looked out at the window. It's almost as, as, as like in Christmas. It's, Santa's here. It's there's snow, so it's it's a great it's it's a great moment really in December to st still have the the you know the Christmas holidays and the snow all mixed in. It's perfect. And while most of the snowfall is done for now in El Paso, our weather authority is expecting cooler than normal temperatures over the next several days into the new year. And like Selena said earlier, we're expecting to hit freezing temperatures around 9 p.m. But let me tell you, up here in Trans Mountain, it is definitely feels like it's freezing. So make sure to stay safe and stay off the roads. And we'll continue to keep you updated as road conditions change. Reporting in Northwest El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. Stephanie